Hello everyone and welcome to a new episode of the OC Show. This is episode four. My name's Peter. This is Tim. Hey guys. And hello from uh, from Montreal. We flew in yesterday, about 25 hours of travel. And before we go on, I, I must clarify that our luggage is currently still at the airline, which explains this very odd Adventure Time no t-shirt, but it says no, but yes, we start with the OC Show. I must say amazing color. <laughs> <laughs> it is what uh, apparently that's the only shirt Truthman had left. I don't believe him, but you know, I'm sure it? it was kind of on purpose. <laughs> Who knows? Anyway, there's a lot to talk about um, mostly competitions and then more competitions, and we end with the World Series after introducing even more competitions. So let's get on with it. The first, uh, the first competition you want to talk about is the MSI Beat the Fastest. Yeah, that's right. So the MSI Beat the Fastest is um, it's a competition that is going to end in nine days. So it's already started a few weeks ago. And uh, what is interesting about this competition is that it's completely based on the hardware points. Okay. So um, usually competitions you have, uh, you always submit a score in your benchmark and whoever has the highest in that specific stage gets the most points right so here's the same thing for the benchmarks but it's not the result that matters but it's how high you how many hundred points this submission actually gets so you know when you submit to HI but you if you especially if you submit in a competition usually you get you also get hardware points or points depending what how how valuable your score is right so in that case you have a CPU frequency you have XTU and W prime 32 M okay those are the three benchmark you can pick and then, yeah, depending on how many hardware points you get, you get higher or not in the ranking. So it's open to everything. There's no hardware limitations of any sorts besides using MSI hardware. Mm -hmm, of course. And that's about it, I think, yes. That's cool. What are the prices? Uh, some Z97 motherboards. So the Empower... Actually, the boards, are, they use for the MOA competitions the exact same... So basically, series. the overclocking, the MSI overclocking motherboards. That's right, yeah. MSI right. overclocking boards. That's very cool. Another very cool competition is the Gigabyte Big XTU Challenge, which features um, as the main prize... A trip to Computex! A trip to Computex, <laughs> which is very cool. So Gigabyte will pay... The flight tickets will pay the accommodation, will take you around Computex, will probably in introduce you to the Gigabyte factory as well um, yeah. during during Computex. And that's for the winner of this big XTU challenge. Now, when we say it's a big XTU, XTU challenge, we really mean it's big. There's four rounds, each with 10 stages. And each stage has a secret target score, a secret XTU score. And um, if you hit the score, you get plus one. If you don't hit the target, then you get basically zero points. Yeah. Um, Gigabyte does give you a range for each of the stages, so it'll give you a range, let's say, in between from three hundred, yeah, yeah, but from three hundred to three hundred forty, and then um, the, the 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 target score is one of those scores in between. Right. The target score is only revealed after the stage closes, so you're not gonna know exactly if you hit the target or not. So try a lot um binge bench essentially as they call it in their in their tagline mm -hmm. uh, but i mean you can win a trip to computex that's amazing yeah. plus actually all of the round winners can win uh 1000 US dollars as well right. so nice and competition. there's some other boards up for, up for grabs right yes that some, too some uh, x uh, x99 soc force uh, motherboards i think that's the soc champion soc champion yeah yes sir. even better yeah. All right. So that's a competition to not miss out on, especially if you're a fan of XTU. Very easy and quick benchmark. So it's not so much of a big deal to just increase one by one each points and just try to submit in all the possible options of the range. Whatever it takes to get you to Computex. Yeah. Awesome. All right. Starting soon. So those ones are not started yet. You have the Asus ROG Formula series. So this is part of the ROG Showdown competition, right? And so this one is starting on April 6th. It's going to be a three benchmark based competition on the It starts on March 6th. It oh, finishes right, on April. Yeah, I keep I keep thinking April 6th. Uh, March 6th, correct. And so this one is XTU, Catzilla 720p and Maxmem and only open to enthusiast rookies and novices. Yeah, correct. So no LN2. You cannot use LN2. We had uh, some question actually from a user who wanted to use LN2 to to control the temperature at 20 degrees centigrade, not allowed. You cannot use LN2. You cannot use yeah. LN2 in any way, shape, or form. You cannot even, well, the only way you could do it if you want to really keep at 20, for instance, if it's getting high, is like to have cold air. But that's about it. Like open your window if you're in the winter and try to do something like this. You have to be creative, but that's about it. You cannot mm. use extreme cooling solutions. That's it. 
What are the prizes for that competition? Uh, there's a bunch of prizes. It's all hardware prizes. So there's a... Uh, you have some motherboards, of course, from Asus, but they partner up with uh, industry partners as well. So you have some SSDs, you have some memories, you have even some LN2 parts and uh, PSUs. So yeah, there's a bit of everything. And if you're here, if you're interested to actually, you know, like upgrade your rig or anything like that, that's probably a very good competition to, nice. to, to win some cool parts. Sounds exciting. Now, so we mentioned the Gigabyte competition before as a Computex related event. Yep. There's another one coming called the G-Skill OC World Cup 2015. Um, G-Skill held this competition last year as well. And the format is very, very similar. So there's an online competition starting on March 9th, running until April 13th. And the idea is that you get, uh, you have to qualify in the top six of this online qualifi- uh, online, online qualifier. Yep. Then you make sure that you get to Computex yourself. Very important, you have to pay your own flights and pay your accommodation. So you're not invited like uh, we've seen sometimes. Right? No, you no, have you to... have to make sure you get your own way to Computex and make sure that you can stay around uh, Taipei yep. for, for a week. Um, the, the, the advantage is though that you can participate in the live qualifier of the OC World Cup and the live qualifier is essentially to make sure that we find the two people to play in the final and then the winner of the entire competition wins 10,000 US dollars. Right. 10,000 US dollars. So that's why you have to pay for a trip. Well, I mean, if you can win 10,000, then the investment of actually flying there is very minimal. Yeah. Another key point of the competition is that on the live qualifiers uh, d- during the during the Computex trade show, you'll be allowed to use your own hardware. So you can co- sort of figure out um, how how your chances are at the competition and you're not um, you you know your score is not function of what is the hardware quality that you get. Yeah, yeah. So there's online, no draw or anything. Like yeah, that, exactly. Right? In other in other live competitions, you would you would get flown in, but then the entire competition is kind of dependent on how mm-hmm. good the hardware is that you get at the competition. If you get a really bad CPU, then you know there's yeah. not much you can do. But at the G Skill competition, to win the ten thousand US dollar, you can use your own gear. So you're supposed to come prepared, right? You're supposed to have all your system ready. This is a. This is a. You should know every setting possible to get the right thing. This is a very serious competition. You mean? I mean, you have to come a hundred percent prepared. Yeah. Last year we saw exactly the same, and I think Splay won, yeah. won that competition. Um, he was in the final with eight pack, and they had everything nailed down about their entire system. They yeah. knew every single setting, every every little detail about their CPU and the memory and the, and the graphics card to get to the, the live final and then eventually yep. win the $10,000. Yeah. So you mentioned the final is a one versus one. So is the rest of the live qualifiers also one versus one among the six qualified uh, qualified guys. Um, I'll I'll refer or I, w- I would refer you to the to the online page to get yep. all the detailed information. But it basically comes down to down to that every every day there is a two time slots. Yes. Where two people can compete on stage in uh, four pre selected benchmarks. All right. So after three days, whoever has the best um, the best scores and all those four benchmarks. Those are the people that go to the final. Oh, cool. Well, that's going to be an interesting one. So we can expect already uh, six plus the gigabyte winner overclockers. So seven overclockers already coming to Computex. Yeah, I'll plus, be there as well. Yes, well, me too. So that's nine already. <laughs> it's already a party. Yeah, plus Truffman probably, I suppose. Yeah, well, it's going to be quite a lot of people this year again. Uh, yeah, for sure. There's a lot going on at Computex as every year. But yeah. Just like the World, World Series as well. Actually, before we go to the World Series, there is one more uh, live competition in Indonesia you wanted to mention yeah. about. So if you remember, it, two episodes ago, we talked about the AOCT, which was the uh, amateur competition in Indonesia by the Jackad Review guys. And um, so there's some other guys in Indonesia that are also doing their, uh, their competition. And uh, so those guys partner up with Telkom Sam. So that, that's a company that uh, I think do telecom stuff. And so they have the... The TOOC, so the Telecom Cell Open OC Tournament. So this time they mean open as a broad open. So there's no ban list for this one like the AOCT. So anyone can participate, even the top guys that already competed. But it's also open to amateurs and all that stuff. And what is interesting is that the qualifiers, for instance, are all on air cooling. So it's really accessible to anyone. Plus, it's an AMD based competition. All right, we haven't seen that in a while. That is surprising. <laughs> yes, so it's based on the AMD FM2 uh, Ranger boards from Asus. Uh-huh. Uh, they're using uh, X4 uh, 860K uh, CPUs from uh, AMD and some uh, R7 graphics cards as well. So 
It's a very, uh, how should I say, a unique choice of components for a live competition, but but nevertheless, pretty interesting, I think. Yeah, it's going to be interesting, especially the, um, like, for, for, I think checked already right now, there's about 31 people that are already registered to participate. Mm -hmm. 16 already participated in the... Um, in the, the first uh, qualifier series that happened last weekend. So in that one, we saw guys such as uh, Alva and, uh, you know, so Lucky Noob. And so people that we we saw already in major competitions. But mm -hmm. then we also saw some of the amateurs that we've seen at the AOCT participating. Well, since it's also very much competition where you have to show your, your skills, right? In that case... Uh, so the Jagger Review guys, actually, the, the three guys that won this qualifiers are all from Jagger Review. And oh, okay, so, so you have a lucky noon amongst them. So quite an interesting competition. So there will be two more qualifiers. There will be one more in May and uh, one more in September. Mm -hmm. And the finals will be in December in Bali. And we might hopefully go there. Well, you know what? There. Even even if we are not invited, I'm gonna go myself because you know, <laughs> a trip to Bali is always a cool thing. And if there's overclocking going on, why not? Oh, right? sorry, my mind wandered <laughs> off. Sorry. Uh, so last thing that come we back to, talk to the about. cold. <laughs> oh yeah, it is actually very cold. As we are talking here, we can see the snow outside. It's it, wow, it's, it's very amazing. cold. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, the world tour to the uh, next weekend uh, starts at Lanities in Montreal, right here. That's why we're here. Yeah, and you wanted to just sum up the event. Yeah, so last time we were announcing that we had uh, extra partners. So we had uh, Microbuys that was uh, sponsoring hardware for the competitions and providing the competition rigs for the World Series for Amateur. And we also had, uh, so we have Overclock.net that participates as well. They, are, they added also graphics card to the package of things we can offer as prices. So there's going to be some graphics cards up for grabs. Uh, and there's also Dimatec. Uh, I posted a photo earlier on Facebook with like a pile of uh, pile of uh, bench tables that he sent already over here. So those bench tables, we are going to yes use some of them for the for the actual rigs for the qualifiers. But since we have way more than that, we actually give some away as well for the prizes. So you can win bench tables. So okay. that's gonna be pretty interesting. It's gonna be so next weekend, so six to eight at the ETS University here in uh, Montreal. Um, yeah, it's gonna be quite quite epic. Sounds like it, yeah. Yeah, and that was the end of the OC show this time. Yeah, make sure, make sure. Oh, right, to... there's a Q and A as well. Well, I... there's, there's always the Q and A, but so so this this time actually there's one one thing you should not miss out on. It's like first of all we're gonna be streaming live from the LAN ETS, right? So that's gonna be a streaming starting on probably Friday evening around eight nine p.m. And then on Saturday, there will be a stream. We will be streaming the qualifiers as well as the workshop for the amateurs. So if you're interested in learning more stuff about overclocking, that might be a good occasion to tune in and see what's going on. On Sunday, we'll be streaming the finals of the amateur competition. So that will be also interesting to see. So it will be a one-on-one -on -one competition with very quick rounds, 15 minutes per round. So it's going to be very fast paced when the base on XTU. And uh, yeah, then on Monday, Monday evening, we'll be hosting the live Q&A of the OC show. So we'll be debriefing everything about what happened at the LAN ETS here, but also all those competitions that are going on, the new ones coming up and all that stuff. So don't mix out Monday, 9 p.m. Eastern time on the Twitch OCTV channel. All right. And then I would say until the next, uh, the overclocking show, I suppose. See ya. See ya.